So today we are continuing our discussion about the congenital disease series in which we are discussing various congenital problems in the children which the deformities which are present at the time of birth. So uh, at the time of birth the parents see something is abnormal in the children so they become very worried and they just rush to the doctor and uh, there they see that something is abnormal the doc, doc this part is not moving properly so the, we are discussing today about the congenital dislocation of radial head there are two bones in the forearm region one towards the thumb side is known as radius and towards the little finger side is known as ulna so if this radius is having a rounded part which is uh, which is used to you know help us in the rotational movement of the forearm also help in the flexion and extension movement of the forearm normally this deformity is present in bilateral both side and the functional deformities are not much so as a child grows so uh, parents notice there are, there is some bony prominence over there you feel something is you know sound is there the movements are not full the flexion and extension the rotation part are not full because the thing which is causing the rotational part or the flexion extension thing that is disturbed there could be various syndrome associated with such type of dislocation of uh, radial head there are like uh, arthrograph process nail patella syndrome the clipple field syndrome the cornelia delange syndrome so these are the syndromes in which this congenital radial head dislocation condition is present when we go for x-ray we see the radial bone this thumb side bone is abnormally long and the other side bone that is ulna is bowed and there is no radial notch in the ulna so if we will go through this and we see this radial head so it is round but irregular shape round it is smaller in size because of this congenital problem and the depression which is normally present in the radial head is absent or very minimally developed and the bone with which it articulates known as capitalum is also less developed is also hypoplastic so that is why the range of movement are less so our first priority is just to you know explain the situation and uh, advice for physiotherapy for the range of motion exercises and uh, if the condition is very much uh, you know in advanced stage in those situation nowadays we used to go for open reduction we open the part and reduce the uh, radial head inside and reconstruct the ligament around it the annular ligament and other ligaments and <clears throat> if the condition has been presented in the adult age that when the age is the child is grown up in that uh, time we used to go for radial head axis and we cut the part of radial head and uh, <clears throat> the movement restored most most of the time but there is a problem after that that radial head excision if it has been done in early age it regrow and that again it ca can cause some secondary impingement in the movement so this is about the congenital radial head dislocation so i think you are liking our uh, this congenital series please like and subscribe life care for further more videos about the uh, congenital deformity thank you